God reason to be single. Cause niggas ain't shit, but how was it trick? <laughs> What's up, it's JT. And it's your Miami, and this is Goat Talk with Complex. Goat gift I've given. Mmm. So what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's too. Okay, um, goat gift I, I gave was, I don't know. Oh, a watch. A Rolex, the little rainbow face Rolex watch. I just bought my man a Maybach for his birthday, his birthday just left. So that's a goat gift. And I don't even know if he like it cause he ain't even say nothing for real. He not really expressive. So do you like that? Goat zodiac sign today. Sagittarius, what? Sagittarius. I say um Scorpios cause they womanizers. Goat city girl slang. Period. I'm gonna say period too. I feel like period, it started a whole new era. It started this like, yeah. Period. Period. Goat reality TV show. My goat reality TV show is Flavor of Love because of New York. She was like queen of reality TV and they brought her back and kicked her off. And her and Pumpkin Beef was like iconic. I'm gonna go with um, Love and Hip Hop, ATL, Jocelyn, um, Stevie J. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had brought it back in our time. Like they had turned like reality TV show back up. I agree, 100%. Hey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Goat rap album. Period. Oh, that's not an album. There was an album. That was a mixtape. That was our first album. We never had a mixtape. If that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Call QC. <laughs> I'm gonna say Girl Code. I'm gonna say Girl Code, because it was our first album. Girl Code was our first album, and it had act up on it. It was period. Period, period so we was in the um, kitchen. Yeah, it's a mixtape. That is not an album. They didn't consider that an album. I don't think nobody considered that an album, Christian. I thought it was an album. It gave album vibe. Listen, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Girl Code, because it had act up on there, and it was like the crossover album, or whatever, have you said. I'm gonna go with period because that that's what like set the tone for us. Not set the tone, but like, you know, mm -hmm. it was our set first the tone project. For a lot of people. It was our first project. So and it's still it's still hit today. Like it was before it's time. Yeah. This is so easy. Goat rap group. City girls. Not for real. Come on now. Like, why would you I don't even think it's like another rap group, is it? Like right now? I don't know. City girls. City girls. It's just so easy. Is it another rap group? Not like oh now. My God. I'm saying like now like, in this generation. This is going to start a while. No, I'm saying like right now. <laughs> like it's 2023. I, like I honestly don't care if it's another rap group, babes. Goat rap group. City girls. Goat Miami rap song. Who I got a game for you young hoes. Don't grow to be a dumb hoe. That's a no-no. Oh, damn nigga. Trick, anything that Trick and Trina did mm -hmm. is goaded. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to go with like Trick and Trina. I'm going to go with something like that. Because I can't think of like one particular song right now. So I'm going to go with anything um, Trick and Trina. Goat rapper. Uh, Future. I just think like for me, he's like the greatest rapper in our generation. Like for me, like I feel like nobody pop that shit like Future. He made that music that make you like get in your bag. I can't think. I can't choose. But myself, me. Cliche. Goat City Girl song. Rodeo. I love Rodeo. You know why I love Rodeo? Because I feel like it's an all-purpose song. Like it's sexy, you can get ready to it, and you can turn. The beat is just so good. I love Rodeo, and it's sexy. I love a sexy rap song. I'm going to say Act Up, because it's like real ass fish give a fuck by the nigga. That song called Always Hit. Like, that's my Goat City Girl song. Goat Hip Hop Media Personality. Oh, you asking me? I forgot. I was waiting on you to answer. Oh. I, <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to say Charlamagne the God. I like Don't Kill Today, and I like that. He like, he don't care. He don't spare nobody. Nobody gets spared. My GOAT media personality is you. Carisha, please. <laughs> it's so good. You dominated and you killed that. So, I mean, it's the right answer. Like you said, Charlamagne over you. I, I don't want to smoke, but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, come on now. You did great. Thank you. It was sweet. GOAT drink slash cocktail. A lemon drop. I love a lemon drop. It's cute, it tastes good, and it's gonna get you there. I love lemon drops. 
I like a strawberry margarita. This is a garisha, please. And I feel like it just made me feel sexy. And it tastes good. Mm -hmm. I like sweet drinks. Yeah. Got reason to be single. Because niggas ain't shit, but I was in trick. <laughs> Um, space. That ain't no real answer. These niggas ain't shit, but... Space? Yeah. They ain't shit, but I'm saying, yeah. like, a good reason to be single is, like, it's freedom. Like, yeah. being able to do what the fuck you want to do. Like, you ain't got to answer to nobody. That's a good reason to be single. No, that's for sure. Good reason to be in a relationship. Good reason to be in a relationship. Good reason... <laughs> <laughs> cause now it's gonna start you gonna contradict yourself, huh? Oh my god, go reason, yeah. Cause now it's gonna flip it, and I don't like, yeah. Cause it's like I don't want to be lonely, but you just say these space. Go reason to be in a relationship is you have your person, you get to like share life with this person. If I'm short, I know this person gonna come through. Then like sex, you know, get to yeah. get fucked all the time. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm gonna say a go reason to be in a relationship is like the same, like stability, you know, to feel good. Like, make kids, go on dates, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Goat script club. The office, the office Miami. I just like it because it's just like, it's home for me. It's ghetto, it's wretched, it's small, and it's like, it's gonna get you there real quick. I'ma say the Goat script club is Rolex, Climax. Cause that was my first script club I ever went to. And I feel like it's so many memories there, like, it's like goaded. It's goaded. Yeah. Goat shoe. For me, I'm not gonna lie, it's a sneaker. Heels really, really hurt my feet. I like heels, I love heels, and I like how sexy they make me and elevated and tall they make me look, but if I could just like throw on a, a Yeezy or something and get the fuck on, I would definitely do that. So you're gonna say Yeezy? I'm gonna say Yeezy. I'm gonna say, um, I love red bottoms. Like anything Crystal was telling me, like, it's just a sexy shoe to me. Go accessory. Anything Chanel, like some Chanel studs, a Chanel bracelet, Chanel. I'm gonna say a Cuban link. Everybody think a Cuban link is like a trophy, you know, like. Yeah, it is. Like, like when you get your Cuban, I'm gonna die in these Cuban links. <laughs> goat party you been to? I'm gonna say my goat party that I been to was Michael Rubin all white party, cause that was the first time I ever met Beyonce and like, I really talked to Beyonce. I really hung out with Beyonce and I got to see like Beyonce for like, oh my God, she is like one of us, but she's God. Like I love Beyonce. <laughs> I'm gonna say my whole party is like a Diddy party. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. And it's just period. <laughs> Go thing about being your friend. So go thing about being your friend, you get to laugh. I get to rap with you, grow with you and shit like that. Go thing about being your friend is you bipolar. Mm. So it's fun. It's like a been on a roller coaster. Like, woohoo. Okay. She like drama. <laughs> <laughs> Woke red flag and partner. Um, a selfish person. A person that only think about themselves. Like I that's a red flag. Cheating. Like, bitch. Woke zodiac sign. Woke, the worst zodiac sign. Away. What? This question for you. Oh, I keep thinking this for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'ma say a Virgo. They so mean and fucking bitchy. Talk about your mama. I can't be yeah. My mama and my daddy. They both Virgos. Mm. I'ma say an Aquarius. You know I hate Aquarius. I never met an Aquarius, like for real, for real. Any Aquarius I meet, I'd be like, hey babe, you gotta go. I want to deal with one Aquarius. That's not true. Oh my god. Yeah. What job you had? Call center. I worked at a call center during hurricane time, and that shit was just chaotic. Like, mm -mm. having to fake your voice, like, all of, <laughs> all throughout the day, your chest be hurting, like, a man, oof. No. <laughs> People listening in on your calls, like, no. Woke fashion trend. Them big ass boots. Which ones? Them big red ones, I think. I hated it. I'm agree. I don't even want to offend nobody. <laughs> but that was crazy. They had to be paying people to put them shoes on. And I'm not gonna lie, my niece wanted them. So I think it was very Gen Z. <laughs> and she texted me and it was $600. I was like, these shit should be every bit of 50 cent. This your Miami. And it's JT. And thank you for watching Go Talk with Complex, period. <laughs>